this episode is time for walls. We're gonna go full out Donald Trump. We're gonna put up walls everywhere, okay guys? <laughs> Hello everyone, Ferb here, and welcome back to episode 8 of Factorio. We are gonna do some stuff in terms of base protection today. Because if we take a look at our map, and I'm just gonna hit Alt to turn on uh, the overlay, you will see that our pollution, which is all of this red stuff that's been going over the squares, is kind of starting to get to some of these enemy bases. It's about to reach this one here, and it's already reached this one. So those enemy bases, when they are polluted, those enemies are going to get pretty pretty mad at us, and they're going to come and they're going to attack our base and try and get rid of the stuff that's causing the pollution. So we need to start protecting our base. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. Also, uh, I have some good news. We now have three alien artifacts. We actually always had three. Yeah, if you guys look in the video, in the, well, just in the top corner or whatever. I don't know which corner I'm putting it in. You will see that there are some alien artifacts up over by where we killed that base. I guess they were always there, and I guess I just somehow forgot them, which... Seems kind of weird, but I guess that's what happened, because they were just sitting there, and I saw them, and I'm like, okay, hey, I should probably record this. Oh, so, there, yeah. Also, uh, um, yeah, I was able to increase copper production by quite a bit, so copper is being produced more now. Uh, iron is backlogged, I think. Oh, no, it's not. It's no longer backlogged. I believe this chest... Actually, I... This chest keeps fluctuating. Sometimes it'll go up, sometimes it'll go down. See, now it's going to go back down. It, it's weird. Anyway, so... Yeah, okay. So, copper was sort of getting low in this chest, so... I increased the production of copper from... Two, I mean, from one electric mining drill to four. And they all have their own smelters, and it's all working great. So now we have a backlog of copper, which is pretty nice. And that is producing a lot of science packs. What it's doing is I put a speed module in here, here, and here to produce science packs faster. And as you can see, we are filling up these chests. I, compl I just removed the limit filter. And we're just going to fill them up completely, because might as well have as much as we can. Considering it doesn't really impact, now that we have a lot of copper and iron coming in, it doesn't impact the rest of the stuff as much. Also, petroleum, getting full. Um, light oil is full in both of my tanks that I threw down. Um, crude oil is full, and heavy oil is pretty full in all four tanks that I've put down. So, that's another thing we're going to have to work on after we protect the base, is getting... Some of this stuff cleared up, even though it's kind of like, yeah, I, I, I don't know what I'm saying. It's kind of getting to the point where we have a backlog of, well, we definitely have a backlog of this. We're full, like, we don't use plastic that much. We use it for one thing. We use batteries for one thing, so they're produced pretty slowly. Therefore, petroleum isn't used that often, but... I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll do this for now. There we go. G give petroleum some use. Let's get some more sulfur. Sulfur will be used more later, so we might as well have some. Okay. Also, as you can see, I have another water line running here. And that goes up to our oil refinery. Because it now requires water and oil. And it will produce one heavy oil, 4.5 light oil, and 5.5 petroleum which is a lot better than what we were getting before and that was what we were getting the science pack threes for if you uh, remember so I did that also research that I have done uh, we got stone walls and gates done I believe I showed that at the end of last episode uh, what else do we have done I ended up getting the advanced oil processing I don't remember 
if I did that last episode or not, but uh, solar panels we got done. Explosives. I got explosives researched because we're going to need to get into rocketry and then into alien technology in order to get the alien science packs. So, uh, also, something I didn't realize, I was saying how it requires one alien artifact to get a, an alien science pack. I was like, well, how do you get 300 of them? Well, actually, it's 10 alien science packs for every alien artifact. So you'd only need, like, 30 alien artifacts in order to get 300 alien science packs. So that's a little bit better. So we've already got 30 alien science packs possible to get with the three science or uh, alien orb things that we already have. Yeah. So, this episode is time for walls. We're going to go full out Donald Trump. We're going to put up walls everywhere. Okay, guys? That is the goal for this episode. So I've got bricks being smelted here. Let's grab some bricks. Like all the bricks. Yeah, let's grab all the bricks. Okay. We're going to want to go into combat. And we're going to want to get ourselves some stone walls. We're going to want to get all the stone walls that we can. And now we wait. This is going to take a while. Uh, I believe there's actually one other thing I got in here. What was it? Actually, I don't think it shows up. No, it doesn't show up because I got bullet, da bullet damage 1, and that turned now into bullet damage 2 that we can get. I also got... Uh, which one was it? Maybe I didn't get the other one. Oh, yeah, I got lab, lab efficiency 1. So those two are gotten, so as you can see, they don't exist down here. Even though they're completed, they just stay up there. Yeah, that's how, that's how it works. I think it's also good to mention that um, power generation. Yeah, we've got, we've got a lot of steam engines and a lot of boilers, so that that's something to note. And we're still getting pretty close to capping out, so... We might need to either get another power plant going right beside this one, or switch over to solar pa panels and stuff. I don't know. But for now, we've got that. Okay, so it is daytime. Let's go start building walls. So I've kind of mapped this out in terms of like breaking down trees and stuff. So we can use water to our advantage because... The biters, which are those uh, creatures that we were trying to get rid of, they can't cross water. So we can use it as a natural barrier. As you can see, the deep water you cannot go into, so we cannot pass here. I don't... Yeah, even with that gone, we can't pass, but it... I'm just going to put it in for safety. So that is the trick that we are going to use to keep these biters out of our area. Now, obviously, these walls don't really protect anything at the moment. They're really just a barrier, but the biters can sort of break stuff like that. But I do have an, I do have a plan. Don't worry. There we go. Okay, so that is our first wall. Mexico's going to pay for the wall. I'm gonna put a wall right here. Now we're going to head over here. I want to keep this stone within the boundaries and this oil so that we can work with it in the future. That's going to allow for big electric poles and medium electric poles. And I'll show you what those do in a minute. But that's going to be kind of helpful for what we're about to do. Okay, so while we're waiting for morning to set up some more walls, let's get some stuff set up in terms of this oil situation we're having. Okay, so we're gonna place down a chemical plant. Oh, they don't they don't fit there. Great. Okay, how do I wanna do this? It doesn't really fit in that area, so I'll have to place it like here. For petroleum. Okay, cool. 
And then here we'll just go there. Cool. Right, you need power too. Cool. Um, no. There we go. Okay. Let's grab some pipes. And we're just gonna let's just go right down here. Right, right there. There we go. Cool. So now we have petroleum being, well, actually we have to do this. Uh, light oil cracking to petroleum. Oh, we need water too. Right. Yeah, that doesn't work. Never mind. Find another spot for that one. What about this one? How's this set up right now? Uh, heavy oil cracking to light oil. Okay, heavy oil can go in. Okay, actually, let's uh, let's set this up smart. Okay, so heavy oil goes in there. So now we just need water into here, and then somehow petroleum has to go back around or something like that. I'm gonna grab a couple of underground pipes. So in order to prevent uh, petroleum from going in this area here, I'm just going to do a underground pipe to here, no not to there, to there maybe? Okay, so now that we're here, let's go here. Let's go underground over to here. Let's remove that. Let's place it here. There, there. So now we have water going to both of our plants here. Good. Now we just need to get the petroleum from here back into the tank over here. Actually, if we do that... There we go. That works. Cool. So now we have petroleum being produced. Once again, that was a useless connection there. Okay. Actually, a lot of this is a useless connection. No, that that was needed. That was that was definitely needed. Oh, it's, I thought it was connected up here. That's literally right beside the power plant. It's connected through this. It comes through here. Like, well, I guess if I want to like cut power to the entire base for some random reason, I'm like, you know what? Let's just cut power to the entire base. I can just go like that. Now the entire base is dead. But now it's back. So whatever. So systems are working good. Let's actually get another two storage tanks. Yeah, two storage tanks for... Uh, petroleum and we'll just put those in right here and right there so petroleum now has a lot of storage heavy oil and light oil still have a pretty decent amount of storage but at least we are getting something useful from all that heavy and light oil other than the lubricant and solid fuel that we are normally getting we are now also getting extra petroleum so that that's good and this thing's also still running uh, what are we at in terms of okay we're at we're at about 170 percent so we're doing decent we're not dead or anything so I guess that's that's good uh, yeah uh, what is the sulfur at what's sulfur production at uh, we're full cool 
That's great. Uh, although I do, I, I do want to keep using the petroleum, so I'm just gonna completely disable the limit on that. Whatever. Okay, so now let's get working on some other stuff. Let's get some big electric poles. We'll get three. So big electric poles, as you can see, have a smaller range than the um, small electric poles, because they're not used in terms of range. They're not used like in terms of um, supply range. As you can see, they also have a normal connection. So, like, as you can see, that wire connecting to the small electric poles is the small electric pole wire. Because what the big electric pole does is you place it near a small electric pole, so where you want to start your, your journey, and it will use the connection from whatever has the lowest wire type sort of thing. So this thing has a small length of wire that it can then connect to. The big electric pole has a large amount of wire, but it can't connect to a small electric pole that way. So you start it here, and as you can see, it goes pretty far. It doesn't go super far, because you still have to place a couple to get it all the way over to where you need to go. But it works pretty well. So we're just going to place them this way to make some uh, power that way is the main goal right now. So now that this area is set up, let's get some stuff going. Now there is one problem that I'm looking at right now, and that is bringing solid fuel over there is gonna take a while like by conveyor belt it's gonna it would work it wouldn't be the best solution though to our problem so I have an idea let's research something new let's go and let's research advanced material processing 2 which is gonna it's gonna it's gonna take a little while but y you know we'll let that do its thing we are going to be getting the electric furnace so it requires no fuel it just requires electricity and it, re it requires a pretty decent amount of electricity but you know whatever that is just something we have to deal with okay well while I'm waiting for that stuff uh, actually I can do that right now so while I'm waiting for the rest of the stuff in terms of research to be finished let's head back up here and let's finish our wall or get our wall more finished than it currently is. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there, but I believe we. Okay, this this for this forest here is going to need to be chopped down. I'll chop it down sometime, but not not right now, because that's annoying. Uh, let's go there. Cool. So next, we are going to need our electric furnace, which is going to take a little more time to make. Okay, wait a second. What is up with this petroleum stuff? Okay, so we're going to go right into the furnace here. And then... Then pull right out of the furnace. Actually, I don't want it to go right into a furnace. I want it to go into a chest. Here. Then into a furnace. And then just, just into another chest for now. And I'm going to get a medium electric pole. 
And as you can see, medium electric poles have a bigger range than the small electric poles, but they still have the same wire length, I believe. Yeah. So we're going to do that. So as you can see, that can power this whole area just using one electric pole. So, here we go. So electric furnace is complete. Uh, how much power is that using just by itself? Uh, it's going up to about about 125, 125 kilowatts. Yeah, something like that. So that's this line right here. You guys can see it's pulsing every once in a while as it's cooking, but yeah. Okay, the electric mining drill, we can put a speed upgrade in it. So I think I might do that. So it's slow. Or actually, I could just get another mining drill. Yeah. Yeah, this is a better idea. So now we should be getting more bricks. This thing should constantly be going. Cool. Uh, it's gonna actually back. Mm. Is it just gonna stay at three or is it gonna go up to four? Yeah. Actually, I think I might wanna put a storage module in here and that might actually help out a bit after I take these bricks. There. Did I, did I say storage module? I meant speed module. Sorry, guys. Okay, there we go. We got a speed module. Let's throw that in here. Uh, it's kind of doing good. I think. We're getting constant stone, so stone bricks so we're, we're good now it's good to note that even though this thing is electrical it is still a furnace and it still pollutes somewhat not not a lot like these things don't pollute at all but this thing still pollutes a bit not as much as the other furnaces though the other furnaces have a pollution of 3.6 this thing has a pollution of 1.35 so definitely better for the environment the nose, but still not great. Bricks are being produced at a fairly good rate, also. Uh, and let's place down a turret to keep this area safe. Cool. So that should protect this general area. Obviously, one of these walls breaks, it's not auto repairing or anything like that yet we will be able to do that just not not yet I'll show you guys what I mean later not this episode but in the next couple episodes oh well that's concrete now I guess how the heck did that what That's actually kind of cool. So if you have stone bricks, you can just right click them on the ground and you get concrete. Oh, you run on concrete. Oh, I like that. Okay, so that is how we can get around our base faster. Cool. Not something I'm going to do right now because I'm busy making walls full of Donald Trump here, but... After that's done, I think we're going to make ourselves some pathways. Remember guys, we got to make Factorio great again. We got, we're, we'll make the biters pay for the walls. Yeah, I'll, I'll think of more Donald Trump ref references later, maybe, I don't know. But that'll be the name of this episode. That make Make Factorio great again. I'm going to start researching Logistics 2, guys, because it unlocks Logistics 3, obviously, but rail ra Railways and auto, auto, auto... So I'm going to start researching Logistics... Lo
So let's uh let's research. There we go. Might as well have research going pretty much all the time because we don't really have any reason not to. Well, we have enough. Ooh, no. We're so close, guys. Oh, it's so close. Actually, let's make some gates. We might actually be good. Oh no, gates are gates are single pieces. Okay. Never mind. Although I do want to put some gates up here. So as you can see, when you walk near a gate, it opens. No, it's obviously going to be a bigger gate than that. That's going to be like if I wanted just a door. But I want to be able to drive cars in and out of these things. Something coming later, obviously, but... Yeah. I'm just going to build that wall. There we go. I'll probably want to put gates over here, too. Probably after I clear out some of this forest leading out over to the copper. So, where the gates will probably... Okay. We'll probably put some gates here. Or, like, a gate there. Probably a gate going down, and then one going up. Maybe one going to the side also. So basically one for each of the directions. Definitely here, here, and here. Maybe there. I think we should be good though. Oh, we got logistics too also. Cool. Uh, what do we want to research next? Let's get, wait. Oh, it's not concrete, it's just a path, okay. I don't know what concrete would be. Oh, that makes your walking speed even faster. That is cool, that's pretty cool. Okay, well let's look into some of this other stuff. What do we want to do? Probably get started with engines. Yeah. Engines and then advanced electronics we probably want to do also. Do we want to do elect advanced electronics too first or... Let's do engine, because it'll be done quicker. And everyone. The wall is now complete. Now it's time for gates. There we go. So that is a gate right there. Cool. Uh, let's start researching electric engine next, and then we'll move on to advanced electronics. That way we have some stuff to do next episode. Okay, so now that area is also lit up, kind of. So, a lot of this area isn't lit up yet. All of this area and the trees down up here and the trees down here isn't lit up, but I'm going to remove the trees, light it up, and then we should have another fully protected area. I do want... Do we have enough to get another turret yet? No, we need some more steel. Okay, steel is easy to get. There we go. Let's get ourselves another laser turret. And let's protect the area up here. Probably put it right around here. There we go, we got our laser turret, so let's just place that down there. Cool. Uh, power... I think we're still doing good. Yeah, I think we're doing good. And of course, advanced electronics is next. Like I said oh, quite a while ago. I also probably will get bullet shooting speed and bullet damage off camera, but just something that you should know. Cool. 
So guys, I think that is a good point to wrap up the episode. We have completed the wall, or we've made Factorio great again. We didn't quite make the biters pay for the wall, but you know what? We didn't, there's no money here, so you, we, we just did the work. We didn't pay for the wall either. No one paid for the wall. I wouldn't accept money, unless it was an alien orbs or whatever. Alien artifacts, because those things are kind of useful. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe to make sure you do not miss other uploads. Verb7001, signing off. See you guys in the next video.